Shalom. Shalom. Hey, we're the brothers from Great Middlestone, Miami. I'm the brother Amawa Ibad, and I'm with me is the brother Jeremiah. Right, and uh, today we're going to be uh, doing a, a real quick lesson on, uh, on you women, man. All right, before we go any further, we're going to give our honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Middlestone who taught us this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so, all right? So with that being said, man, uh, me and the brother was uh, 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 chopping it up in the spirit, you know, uh, heading to our destination, and man, and we passed through the airport, we, you know, take a look at some of these women. They look tired, they look exhausted, they're basically looking through, man, you know, but this is something that these women fought for, uh, uh, women's rights and uh, 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 liberation, uh, what you call it, uh, feminism and all this kind of stuff, man. When in the early 1940s and 1950s, you women had it like that, whether the man was the breadwinner and he'd go to work and he'd bring home the cookies and you stay at home and deal with the house and the children, but you fought, you fought to come out and work, okay? Meanwhile, the serpent, he, 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 he was already taxing the man and he thought to himself, hey, if he could get the woman to come out too, he could tax you too. But you thought it, you thought it would have been beneficial to you, but now you're saying you're tired, okay? You got videos popping up on YouTube, right? With women saying how they tired and they, they don't want to work anymore. They want a, a man to do the work for them, but you had it like that already. You had it and you fought to not have it like that anymore because you wanted to be equal with the man and you wanted to, to get out and do your own thing. But now you're finding out in the long run that it's, it's tiresome and it, it's very, it's, it, it's bringing you to exhaustion, man. Yeah. You know? You got it, brother. Um, you know, they, they, they want a traditional marriage. They want the man to be traditional, but they don't want to be traditional. Right. You know, well, you got a scripture, brother? Yeah, so, hey, <laughs> at the end of the day, the man is the lead, and he's supposed to lead, so the woman's supposed to let him lead, right? right. Now, here it is, the serpent, they drunk that serpent juice, right? And now they they saying they don't need a man. So these women, they're in the position of leadership, right? But when women go to work and they pay the bills, right? If they have a husband same way, especially if they make more than their husband, now they, you got this contention in the house because they work, and in a lot of cases, a lot of women make more money than men. That's just the way they set up society. This is a gynocracy, man, a, a, a society led by women. Yeah. Okay? It says, uh, this is an Ecclesiastes, otherwise known as Sirach, the 25th chapter and the 22nd verse. It says, if it says a woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger impudence and much reproach right yeah. now the fact that she's the breadwinner she went out and she working and she making money in most cases they making more money right all right so now she find herself to be the head of the household she don't want to listen to her husband no more because she feel in her mind if i make more money than you i'm gonna listen to you right so she's the scripture says she's full of anger impotence right. and much reproach and they, and they can't keep a man and they can't keep a man See, they can't keep a man because you know they um they 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 full of anger. Mm -hmm. They're miserable. You know, full of reproach. Mm -hmm. and plus the curses. Right. You know. Right now, who's in the power seat? The so-called white man. Right. And women respect power. Right. So that's why a lot of women flock to the so-called white man. Mm -hmm. Whoever's in power, women are going to flock to them. Right. Okay. Because women deal with mm -hmm. what is called hypergamy. You know, they 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 try to date up. Right. They they up so they 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 looking for security mm -hmm. and these kind of things. But why why the woman can't just build with their man? Like you, you women supposed to think nation like they know what happened to us as a people as we was discussing earlier. We transgress against the heavenly father, so we're being punished. But they don't want to be punished with us. They want the goodies of this world. Right. And, and who's in rulership? Uh, the people that's in rulership right now they want to get with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. They, it's rather uh, choosing to wait with their husbands, like how we have to wait on the Lord. They don't want to do that. Right. You see, they want to go with, with what's happening right now for the short term. But in the long term, they're going to have to pay. Okay, because the women are helping destroying our nation by, you know, when, when the government, if they want goodies or benefits from the government, the, the man cannot be in the house. So you are for facilitating destroying uh, uh, our nation, man, as a people. Because the fact that the woman want benefits, her knowing that her getting this benefit, her husband, uh, her man is gonna, he's not gonna be able to stay in the house with her. Yep. All right, and the scripture speaks about that. How can you uh, 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 accept you bind a strong man? You can't destroy his house. Right. So you helping, you helping for uh, in uh, destroying your own people, right. because you want the goodies. We get um, Bible shall compassion man and woman shall compassion. Calm. 
bubbles. They got that. See, women love comfort. They love, mm-hmm. they love comfort, you know. And when they're in the position of being uncomfortable, they can't deal with it. Right. You know. And by them being a breadwinner, they're 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 uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Especially if they have a if they have a man and the man trying, but it's, hey, you know, it's more harder for the man. There you go. You know, the man mm-hmm. try. You know. It's the men who really right. actually catch it hell, but right. they don't want to see it that way. Right. They did the woman just don't want to wait. They want it all now. Yep. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 22. It says, How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. And that's, that's a new thing, what's going on now. You know, you have women saying, I don't need a man. So you don't, you don't, you, who, who, who built the city? Like right. the roads, the gravel, and the, the, the cement. Who's doing that hard work? Men. Right. Plumbers. There you go. Who built your house, mm. your car, or you get an oil change. Right. You saying you don't need a man? Right. For women to say that, that means society became very, you know, left. Yep. Degenerates. Yep. Uh, think about it. If, 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 if you only go back in the last 50 to 70 years where women could even say such a thing, right? But what happened to the thousands of years before that? Because that wasn't, that wasn't, that, that was unheard of. That was unheard of. All the years, like you, you, you speaking on this now, how men build and construct the world, okay? So they, they only could speak back to the last 50 years. Right. You understand? Yep. But what about the hundreds and thousands of years before going all the way back to ancient times? It's men who've been, who built up the, the earth, man. The Heavenly Father, uh, through his angels, uh, 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 you know, uh, created the earth. But the, the men construct it with construction mm-hmm. through the wisdom that the Lord gave them over the years. Right now, now women have only fans. They seem right. proud. They're making a lot of money. Mm-hmm. But what happens when, you know, the internet shuts down? When all these cyber attacks are going to happen. What happened then? Right. You know, and look at these cities. Like, it's, it's, it's dedicated to the women. Right. That you, um, you know, these different uh, uh, city goes back to the word metropolis, which right. means mother city. Right. You see, so Esau is dedicating these cities to uh, <clears throat> you know, to women. You know, making it more uh, accountable for women. You, you, you have women going shopping here, shopping there, cause they're carnal. Right. They're not spiritual. Right. You know. That's 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 really that's really what that's really what they they just want to go shopping, they they want to do these type of things. But mm-hmm. you know, at the end of the day, they supposed to be calling on the name of the Lord, yep. okay, and turning to their husbands yep. and listening and obeying their husbands and reverencing their husbands. Yep. You know, they they have things what they want to do, okay, but um, mm-hmm. they ain't following the ways of the Yahab Bashim Yahweh Shai sure. because if that, if that if that was the case, they would have respect for their husbands. And know that he that he's the head, and for some reason they don't want to follow they don't want to follow the command that the Lord set up. Okay, real quick, this is our First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. It says, "But I would have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Mashiach is the Most High, the Heavenly Father Yahweh." Okay, so that's the order, and and the woman is breaking that order because they don't want to listen to their husband, but they want to do what they want to do. They want to be free to do what they want to do, and that's mm-hmm. causing a problem in the earth. Yep. That's right. causing a problem. You can speak. Yeah, that's right. the that's the that's the order. hmm <laughs> That's the order, man. That's the order. You know, you got uh the Mosai, Yahweh Shai, man and woman. That's the order. Mm-hmm. We're not equal. Not. We're not equal, man. That's just what it is. Yeah, I listened to a video yesterday a brother put up with this lady. She was talking good about man until she reached that point saying that we're equal, which we're not. The man is the head. See, there's some you, you'll find some women saying some good things because they're realizing that they're going off. They realize that, that they drink the serpent's juice. A lot of them come into that realization. Yeah. But certain things, they still got to get right. Like they think that we're equal. We're not. The man is over you. He's the head. Somebody got the lead. You cannot have two presidents. Right, right. You only could have one. Then, yeah, some somebody got to lead. So it, we, we're not equal. Right. You would you would like to have joint partnerships, but that's just not the way the Lord set it up. It's order, and the, the women don't like to follow order. In their mind, they think they're equal to you. When the scriptures say, "Give give uh uh uh, 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 uh yeah, give knowledge unto her as 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 unto the weaker vessel." Right. 
okay? On it, honor her as the weaker vessel. She's the weaker vessel. Somebody break into the household, you got to be the one to stand up as the man. She's going to be behind you. And she's expecting that. Right. Right. She's expecting for you to save her. Right. Women, they they know they know their role, but they don't want to uh, there you go. fulfill it. <laughs> it was a couple years ago on TikTok, I believe, which I don't have one, but I think it was on YouTube or TikTok I seen on social media where um, they were talking about having women being drafted to go to war. Right. And these women talking about, oh, they're going to go in the kitchen and cook. See, they know their role. See? You see? <laughs> right. You got it, bro. Yeah, so see, see, they try to they try to pick and choose when they want to feel like they alpha, you know? Oh, it ain't war time, they alpha all up in their man face. You know what I'm saying? Right. All up in their man face, they alpha. Oh, we drafting you to go to World War Three. Oh, not me. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought you was alpha. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hypocrite. See? You see? <laughs> see, it's, it's just a serpent juice. There you go. It's a serpent juice. Right. This is Esau's philosophies in the earth. That's why things is corrupted and upside down. Right. You got scripture, and, and that, yeah, and that's how we know when shit hit the van, so to speak, these women gonna get back in order overnight. 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 They, they gonna see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is Ecclesiastes 25, otherwise known as Rock, chapter 25, verse 23. A wicked woman abated the courage, make it a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress, make it weak hands and feeble knees. Okay, you're supposed to know how to comfort your husband because you're supposed to be a pillar of rest. You know, you there to help, man. You are help me. Mm -hmm. Whatever your husband is doing, you're supposed to forward it. You know? You're supposed to follow what your husband is doing, man. You're not supposed to have your own agenda. These women, them, they go off and say they, you know how much women on YouTube will say, oh, they follow their career for 25 and 30 years and they ain't had no children, never got married, and now they're looking for a husband and children. They regret it. And yeah. they regret it? They hit the wall. You see? Everybody get older at one point there in, you go. in life. Like, you know, this is a thing called menopause for women. Right. You see? Men don't have to go through that. Right. Showing that you 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 here to serve a purpose, mm -hmm. you you here for childbearing and and, and forwarding the nation and and, and 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 being fruitful and multiply. But that, yeah. that's that's the man job. Yeah. The man got to plant the seed, but you here to bring forth the children. Right. You know. Um, I'm gonna read, finishing on. It says uh, verse mm -hmm. twenty-four. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. So when you go back to even ancient times, yep, yep. even even Eve called Adam to fall. Okay? Because why? The serpent came to her. Why? Because she was the weaker vessel, man. Adam already knew what he had to do. But the, the, the serpent chose to go to her. Why? Because she's weaker. But somehow she want to feed. She want to make you feel even in this day and time that she equal to her man. When you're not. You're not. You know? It says, uh, verse 25, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. Mm -hmm. oh. You, you got it, brother. It's just a lock. You got it, brother. No, I was just gonna say if you if you leave these women to themselves, man, you already know they're gonna be they, they they're mm -hmm. gonna do their own thing, man. They need guidance. They need guidance. You women gotta... need guidance. Women need leadership. <laughs> you see, mm -hmm. yep. yeah, women don't know how to run a nation. The most I is dealing with order. Right. Okay. Woman with woman is an abomination. Man with man is an abomination. Right. Okay. The most I is he's he's righteous. We're not. Okay, he deals with order. He's perfect. We're not. Right. It's, it's, it's his will. Mm -hmm. What about the Most High? What about what he wants? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. Read again, brother. Yeah, uh, verse twenty-five, Sirach, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-five. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. No, the next one. Okay, God. It's not you. Yeah. A wicked woman got abroad, and when you see these women getting abroad, it's mayhem in the streets. Right. They out there, they at the bar. They they got their, uh, skimpy clothes on, mm. secret parts showing, and you see, secret parts. Yeah, hey. women women being on they on fresh and fit. You know, you right. watch fresh yeah, and fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything what their husband alone is supposed to see, they showing it out in the streets. Mm -hmm. Cleavage everywhere. They downtown in the downtown areas with impy skimpies on. Oh, this Miami, <laughs> you know. 
that. Um, verse 26, it says, If she go not as thou wouldest have her, I'm going to start from 25 again, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. All right, the next one. So, uh, mm -hmm. if 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 she's not doing, uh, yeah, no, not one girl on the line. Yeah, if she's not if she's not doing uh, what she's supposed to be doing in your household, man, and she's if she if she if she's costing you uh, uh, not to stay focused on the word of the Lord and serve the Lord in all fullness of heart and mind, you gonna have to let that woman go, man. If she for the streets and she want to run the streets and she want to do what she want to do, she don't want to listen to you or she feel like her life is too boring because that's what a lot of these women say, oh, I'm bored. Oh, you, you say, you, you, you said, you said, uh, 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 you said your vow. When you said your vow, you said, you know, for always and forever till death do us part. But now you're boring and now you, 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 you aren't out because you're bored. See? That's why, that's why in ancient time, a woman was the property of a father, and the father would be the one to give away to a man of understanding. Mm -hmm. You know, these women, when they choose their own men, look, 80-some percent, uh, women filing for divorce, almost 80-some percent. They like to choose Pookie and Ray Ray. See, that's what happens. See, you like, you like, to, you like <laughs> to choose the scammers, the drug dealers. Right. You see, you don't want nobody just to work a nine-to-five job. Man. Right. That, that don't excite you. You want to, you know... You want the bad boy. Right. You see, so your mind from your youth is is, is corrupted. Right. And it goes back to your, to your mom, to your grandma, to your great-grandma. Let's, let's, let's just keep it real. Right. Generational curses. Hey, man, so at the end of the day, mm -hmm. we, 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 we see a lot of you women out here are through, man. You know, but the Lord, the Lord, he's the father of spirits. And at the end of the day, he going to pair up, uh, he going to pair up uh, the men, the men of the Lord with certain women. You know, you know, Isaiah 4, 1, in, in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, roughly paraphrasing it. You know, we know that time is coming. And we know there there are some women who are going to turn back and, and be, be God-fearing women in these last days. And the Lord going to pair them up with men of the Lord, you know, and find this, and, and find you're going to find yourself a good woman to, to, to hold you down until the Lord return. You know, we know we're going to find one or two here, but at the same time, the majority, the, the majority, because the scripture says the woman shall be saved in, in childbearing. You know, but we know the majority, two thirds, a lot of them, a lot of the two thirds going to be women because women yeah. are number men, you know, but yeah. for the ones who are going to turn back, because the scripture speaks about the elect lady, we're going to read the scripture real quick and we're going to get ready to close out because we soon reach our destination. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 26, verse one, it says, blessed is the man that hath a virtuous wife, but the number of his days shall be double. A virtuous woman rejoices her husband and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. A good wife is a good portion, which shall be given in the portion of them that fear the Lord. And that's the point. Those that fear the Lord, the Lord is going to look out for them, man. The Lord is going to pair you with a woman that's going to bring joy in their life, man. That you you, you going to have peace, mm -hmm. you know? You, you got it, bro. You got it. Yeah, that's it, brother. Yeah, man. So, hey, with that, <laughs> this is just a short lesson. All right. We hope, Lord willing, you will edify. We're going to go ahead and give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakwadash. That we honor to the elders and the apostles of great millstone who taught us his truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom. Shalom.